AS400, IBM's leader in technology. On June 21, 1988, IBM introduced the application system 400, known as the AS400. It was the successor to the IBM System 36 and System 38. The AS400 grew to be extremely successful, with an estimated 111,000 installed by the end of 1990, and a total of over 500,000 delivered by 1997. The original code name for the AS400 was Silver Lake. They had planned to name the finished product the IBM System 40, but this name was dropped in favor of its new nomenclature, which used three numbers to designate a mid-range computer. The 400 was announced with six processor models, and promised double the performance of the System 38, and five times that of the System 36. In May 1994, IBM introduced a new generation of AS400, called the Advanced Series. Along with many new features, this new generation of AS400 were presented all in black, instead of the previous beige. The new look and power of these systems was heavily promoted in such magazines as the 3X and 400 Systems Management Magazine, Computer World, and other publications. The following IBM promotional video from around 1996, was issued to provide a roadmap for customers wanting to upgrade their AS400 to the PowerPC architecture including the RISC, or Reduced Instruction Set Technology. AS400, IBM's leader in technology, and now the first and only system in the industry to deliver complete 64-bit computing, 64-bit hardware, 64-bit operating system, and all your applications 64-bit enabled from day one, without rewrite or recompile. Information technology has moved quickly in the past several years, and the AS400 has often been the first system to implement the latest and greatest the industry has to offer, and we haven't stopped yet. Introducing the AS400 with PowerPC technology, a 64-bit RISC-based processor that provides you the power and flexibility to expand your applications and grow your business. The upgrade to AS400 with PowerPC technology can be made from existing AS400 9402, 9404, or 9406 models. This animated presentation will walk you through the methods available to ensure a smooth transition from your current CISC system to the new RISC system. Before we discuss just how that transition is made, let's stop for a moment and revisit the 64-bit question. The internals of your AS400 system can be compared to a highway that transports commuters to and from their destinations. As more and more cars begin to travel that highway, traffic becomes heavier, and the four-lane road that was designed to handle a specific number of cars effectively becomes overloaded and slow. If you think of these cars as being pieces of information inside your AS400, it's easy to see that as you increase the amount of information your AS400 has to process, it too can become overloaded. Increasing the speed of your processor can help to process information faster once it gets there, but that doesn't necessarily help reduce the congestion on the highway. So what do you do? You widen the highway. And that's essentially what we've done with the new PowerPC RISC models of the AS400. The four-lane highway has been widened to eight lanes doubling the amount of information that you can pass to the AS400 processor. This means your AS400 can accommodate bigger data files and larger objects, such as those required for imaging and multimedia applications. When you combine this wider highway with the faster RISC processors, you'll see better throughput and increased performance. Let's take a closer look at the CISC to RISC upgrade. In the past, you've typically upgraded your AS400 system in this way. Over a weekend, you installed the new release of OS400 on your existing system and then tested it for a certain period of time. Once you were comfortable with any changes, you then installed the new hardware during a second weekend. During your upgrade to RISC, you will also change the hardware and software. The steps you will perform are not new or different, but both hardware and software will be upgraded in the same weekend. 
This is because the CISC and RISC systems are supported by different OS 400 releases. From the viewpoint of your applications, V3R1 and V3R6 are functionally equivalent, but from a hardware perspective, they are different. V3R6 contains new licensed internal code that was written specifically to run on the RISC processors, and therefore is not supported on any other AS400 models. The key point is that even though you will install a new OS400 release, your applications will not require any modifications to be 64-bit enabled. To ensure your transition to RISC is as smooth as possible, we have put together a comprehensive roadmap that will act as your guide throughout the upgrade process. The roadmap is a complete project plan. And, as you will see from the size, it provides all the tasks you will need to perform and their sequences in one place. There are no other reference materials you will need to look through. The roadmap has it all. We do not expect you to read the entire roadmap, only those sections that apply to your specific upgrade. The roadmap will be shipped to you once your AS400 system is on order. However, you may request a copy from your IBM sales specialist or business partner. To help you become better acquainted with the roadmap, let's take a look at how it's organized. Part 1 covers general information regarding the new RISC technology used in the AS400, as well as a brief overview of the upgrade process. These two chapters serve as a good overall technology review. Part 2 describes the order planning process. These six chapters include order planning checklists, tips on analyzing your current system to assess your software and hardware needs, choosing the appropriate upgrade method, and finally, ordering your system. The third section contains five chapters, each one a detailed checklist to be used for a specific upgrade method. Because you will only be upgrading via one method, you would not be expected to read each of these sections. You simply select the checklist that applies to your upgrade situation. Preparing for your upgrade is covered in the next nine chapters. Again, depending on the upgrade method you select, you will only have to follow those tasks related to your upgrade scenario, not each chapter. Part 5 is made up of six chapters that cover the procedures you will perform during the actual upgrade. Once again, you only need to reference those sections that relate to your specific upgrade situation. The final sections consist of appendices that contain forms, worksheets, examples, and additional information you may need to reference during your upgrade. You will be directed to these sections, if necessary, by other chapters within the roadmap. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, the roadmap is all you need to ensure your upgrade to risk is a success. As with any project, using the proper tools can make the difference. One of the most important tools you will use in your upgrade to risk is delivered via a set of PTFs specific to your currently installed version and release of OS 400. Upgrade Assistant will help you through a number of critical tasks, including identifying any hardware components not supported on the RISC models, as well as any software applications that are no longer observable. Upgrade Assistant will also help you determine any disk growth requirements and perform your system save and restore. Finally, it will assist you in the preparation of your disk drives a tool that you'll use only if you upgrade via replace or release and will be discussed in more detail later. Upgrading to risk can be accomplished via one of three methods. They are replace or release, unload reload, or side by side. One of these first two methods will be used for a typical upgrade and in the case where you wish to retain the serial number of your currently installed system. The side-by-side -side method is used when ordering a new system with a different serial number than your current system. Let's take a look at each one of these methods in more detail. 
If you have typically upgraded your AS400 by installing the new release of OS400 over the current release and then upgraded the hardware as we showed earlier, you've done what we refer to as replace or release or slip install. If you choose this method for upgrading, your disk drives will be physically moved with data intact to the new RISC system. In order to do this, you must first prepare those disk units on your current system. This is where the disk prep tool we referred to earlier is used. Disk prep will take the 512 byte blocks of data on your current disk drive and align them into 4K blocks. So V3R6 will be able to read it. Once disk prep has been completed, your service rep will begin the hardware upgrade. They will perform several tasks, including transfer of any user data from your current load source drive to your RISC system 2 gigabyte load source. Next, the remaining hardware features will be installed or transferred into your RISC system, and the system will be IPL'd. During this IPL, many things are happening, including installation of base OS 400 from CD. The 4K blocks of information first gathered by disk prep on the CISC system are now rewritten to act as a 4K page when read by V3R6. Finally, all user profiles are relinked to the objects they own or are authorized to. It is important to note that if you're upgrading from a black CISC system, you will receive your upgrade as parts. Your service rep will then use the frames of your current CISC system and these parts to build your RISC system in a single weekend. There is, however, an offering that will allow you to receive your upgrade within a new system frame. With this staged upgrade offering, your service rep will install the RISC machine as a test system next to your installed CISC system. You will then have 21 days during which you may choose to test your applications or convert objects on the RISC system. Because this system is not equivalent in size to your current CISC system, you may need to acquire additional features to perform adequate testing. Once the 21 days have passed, both systems will be brought down and your service rep will continue with the replace or release upgrade. This staged upgrade offering is available for upgrades to 9406 systems only, yet can be purchased whether you have a white or black AS400 system installed. The next upgrade option should also seem familiar to you. If you've ever had to reinstall your entire system from your save tapes due to an outage of some sort, then you have performed an unload reload. In this scenario, all your information and applications on your CISC system are saved to tape. Next, the RISC hardware is installed, retaining any parts from your current system that are supported. Once your new RISC system is built, you will install V3R6 of OS 400 and reload your information and applications from your CISC save tape. Unlike the replace or release method where information was reformatted into 4K pages at IPL time, in the unload reload method this is done at restore time, as is all authority recovery and data conversions. This method is recommended in the following instances. When replacing a B model system or older disk units such as the 9332 or 9335, if you're installing a large increase in disk or changing your disk availability option, for example, to RAID or mirroring. Finally, if your AS400 system has a relatively small amount of disk capacity, 2 to 4 gigabytes, the unload reload method will suit you best. To help you ease your transition, you can also order the staged upgrade offering with the unload reload method. Again, this will allow your service rep to build a test system on your new RISC model that you can use for 21 days to translate and test applications at your convenience. Once the 21 days have passed, your service rep will install the remainder of the system, including parts from your installed system, and you will do the final restore to your RISC system, completing your unload-reload upgrade. The third option for upgrading is called the side-by-side -side method. Remember, with this method, you will be changing the serial number of your system. In the side-by-side -side upgrade, a new system, equivalent in size and configuration, is installed next to your current system. 
This will allow you to run your CISC and RISC systems in a parallel test environment for whatever period of time you require. Once you're ready to cut over to the RISC system for production, you simply synchronize the data, move workstations and tape units, etc., to the RISC system and cut over. This method is usually recommended for our customers with high availability requirements, such as 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. However, given your specific requirements, a side-by-side -side upgrade may be appropriate. Now that we've seen how the upgrade is achieved, how do you determine how long your upgrade will take? That depends on what your actual hardware and software configuration is and what upgrade method you choose. Chapter 7 of the roadmap can help you calculate the upgrade time for your situation as well as help you determine ways to shorten that window if necessary. Let's look at a few of the actions you can take to minimize downtime during your upgrade weekend. Taking as many activities as possible out of the actual upgrade weekend will help reduce your downtime. For example, you can perform your disaster recovery save the weekend prior to your upgrade and use the save changed object command during the week, reducing the save time required before beginning the upgrade. If possible, make any disk configuration changes prior to your upgrade. Cleaning up your system of old spool files and unused objects can cut down on both your save and conversion times. If you're doing a replace or release upgrade, try to minimize the amount of disk added during the upgrade weekend. For unload reload upgrades, consider restoring only those files or libraries critical to your operation. For example, can your history files be restored at a later time? No matter which upgrade method you choose, you will need to convert your data and programs into a format the RISC system can understand. This function will be performed automatically by V3R6. However, by converting these objects ahead of time, either with a staged upgrade offering or with another RISC system, you can buy yourself some time. Acquiring the already translated RISC version of your application from your business partner can simplify your upgrade. And finally, where it makes sense for your organization, consider using IBM or your business partner's service offerings to assist you. As you prepare for your upgrade, it may appear that the move from CISC to RISC contains many more steps than previous upgrades within the CISC processor family. In reality, very few steps in the upgrade from CISC to RISC are new. In fact, only about 5%. 95% of the steps required in this upgrade are the same steps that have been in the upgrade guides of the past. The major difference is that in a SIST to SIST upgrade, many of the documented steps were optional. In the SIST to RISC upgrade, none of the steps in the roadmap are optional. All are mandatory. They are not new, not different, just mandatory. Following the roadmap will ensure success. However, to further assist you in your transition to risk, IBM offers several service packages that can be tailored to your specific needs. From total project management to modular service offerings, you have the flexibility to choose just the tasks you need help with. Your business partner may also offer similar services to assist you. No matter what model you currently have installed or what upgrade method you choose, a successful upgrade is assured if you follow a few basic rules. Perform careful planning. Be sure to order and use Upgrade Assistant. If you're not currently at V3R1, consider installing V3R1 before you move to risk. Although it is not required, this may reduce conversion time and allow your users to familiarize themselves with the new functions and interfaces they will see on V3R6. Prior to placing your system on order, you must know which method you will use to upgrade. Where appropriate, consider the staged upgrade offering. Become familiar with the planning guide and roadmap document prior to performing your upgrade. And remember to follow the roadmap exactly. Finally, take advantage of IBM or business partner service offerings where appropriate.
One final thought to consider as you plan your move to risk. Your applications are one of your largest information technology investments. So it should be comforting to know that unlike our competition, the AS400 risk upgrade does not require you to analyze your application programs, recompile your applications, or rewrite your applications to make them 64-bit ready. It is all done for you automatically. And what you can accomplish in a single weekend with the AS400 will take our competitors years. AS400 with PowerPC technology. Protecting your investment today while accommodating new technology seamlessly.